Hey everyone. We really appreciate all the fantastic suggestions you've given us for comparing the Bafang BBS HD and CYC Photon e-bike motors. These are really great motors for converting a bicycle into an e-bike. In our first comparison video, we covered the motor noise difference, which you can find linked above. Today, we'll delve into other points you suggested, such as motor data, weight, dimensions, chain rings, and displays. Get ready for an electrifying showdown as we dive into the ultimate face-off between two popular e-bike motors. Let's start with the design and dimensions. Here we have the Bafang BBS HD, and next to it is the CYC Photon. As you can see, there's a noticeable size difference. The motor core of the CYC Photon is notably smaller than that of the Bafang BBS HD. Even from the side view, it's clear that the CYC Photon is more compact and smaller than the Bafang BBS HD. This smaller size of the Photon has some advantages. First, it offers more ground clearance on the bicycle, and second, the smaller gearbox behind the chainring allows using smaller chainrings with more offset. This results in a better chainline compared to the larger gearbox of Bafang BBS HD. Regarding weight, the Bafang BBS HD motor weighs around 6 kg, while the Photon weighs approximately 3 kg, both including the controller but without chainring and cranks. So, there's a difference of approximately 3 kg between the two motors. Now, let's look at the compatibility with bicycle bottom bracket widths. Both the BBS HD and Photon motors are suitable for bottom brackets with sizes ranging from 68 to 120 mm. The Photon motor comes with different axles and cups for various bottom bracket widths, making it more versatile in this aspect compared to the BBS HD. Fought both motors, Adapters are used for larger bottom bracket diameters than BSA, such as for example BB92. Moving on to the motor plugs. Both motors have direct connections from the controller. The Bafang BBS HD controller has two versions, one with additional connections and one without. Both motors have connectors for the battery, the main wiring harness and one for the speed sensor. The additional connectors of BBS HD include a plug for connecting a rear light and gear sensor. The Photon's XB6 controller comes with XD90 battery connector, which is much better than the Anderson battery connector of Bafang BBS HD motor. Let's talk about crank offset or Q factor, which is the distance between both crank arms measured at the pedals. The Q factor for the Bafang BBS HD is between 210 and 250 mm, while for the CYC Photon, it's between 200 and 230 mm. Next, we come to the chainring sizes. The Bafang BBS HD offers a wide range from 28 to 52 teeth, thanks to the availability of chainrings from third party manufacturers. The CYC Photon comes with factory fitted 34, 38, 4 to 2, or 50 teeth chainrings covering the essential options. In addition, the Photon chainrings have a chain guard. However, future third-party chainring options for the Photon may become available. Let's move on to the displays. The Bafang BBS HD comes with the DPC-18 display as standard, but there are third-party options available as well, such as the Egrider V2, for example. CYC offers two displays with the Photon, the SW-102, which is similar to the Egrider, and the DS103, a large color display, providing choices for different display preferences. As with the previous point, the BBS HD motor benefits from suitable third-party display manufacturers, but both CYC displays cover the most basic needs, a small and larger one. How about the riding modes? One complete motor setting with all possible data, such as performance, speed, motor behavior and more, is named as riding mode or riding profile. These settings are saved on the controller, not the display. The settings of CYC Photon motor can be stored twice on the controller and changed via the display, offering two riding modes, race and street. The Bafang BBS HD, on the other hand, allows only one profile to be saved on the controller XWorks. Only by use of the third-party display Egrider V2, you can create and save two different profiles with your Bafang BBS HD motor. Now let us compare the motor data. 
The Photon has a nominal battery voltage of 36 to 52 volts, rated motor power of 750 watts and maximum torque of 110 Nm. Motor and controller weigh around 3 kilograms. The motor supports with torque control and offers two riding profiles with street and race mode. The Bafang BBSHD has a nominal battery voltage of 48 to 52 volts, rated motor power of 1000 watts, maximum torque of 160 Nm and weighs around 6 kg. The motor supports with cadence control and offers only one riding profile. A great advantage of the CYC Photon motor is its torque control. But what's the difference between torque and cadence control? With torque control the motor provides assistance based on the force applied to the pedals. More pressure means more motor support. This can be useful when riding uphill. This type of control is used in most e-bikes on the market. With cadence control on the other hand, the motor provides assistance based on the crank movement. Let's sum up, the CYC Photon has the advantage of torque control, a smaller and modern design, more compact motor dimensions and can also be used with 36 volt batteries. It also offers two riding modes X-Works and comes with a smartphone app. On the other hand, the Bafeng BBS HD provides more power and torque and has a proven track record of reliability and quality. Ultimately, your choice depends on your individual needs and preferences. If you value cadence control and need more torque, the Bafeng BBS HD might be the better choice. On the other hand, if you prefer a natural riding experience with torque control, a visually smaller motor with a modern smartphone app, the brand new CYC Photon might be the ideal option for you. Finally, I would like to point out that both the Bafang BBS HD and the CYC Photon are high-quality e-bike motors that significantly enhance the joy of riding an e-bike in practice, believe me. You can find both motors linked in the video description. We hope this video helps you make an informed decision. If you found it helpful, Please give us a like and subscribe to our Faster Bikes channel as we'll be posting more videos of these fantastic e-bike motors in the future. Thank you for watching.